السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Our lecture today is about the blood by Dr. Arada Sheik Blood is a special type of connective tissue and it consists of plasma and formid elements The formid elements contain red blood, red blood corpuscles, leukocytes and platelets Red blood corpuscles or RPCs or erythrocytes are responsible for the red coloration of the blood. They are not true cells because during development their nuclei and organoids are lost. This is to enhance the respiratory efficiency of these elements. RPCs are biconcave discs in which the central parts are thinner than the peripheral parts. Their, si their size are 6 to 9 micrometer. The number in male is about 5 million and 200 thousand per cubic millimeter, while in female is about 4 and half million per cubic millimeter. The normal color of RBCs is greenish or orange yellow, but when they are condensed, the color is red. The intensity of the color is considered as a rough consideration uh, or as a rough indication to the amount of hemoglobin inside RBCs. RBCs contain no nucleus or any cell organelles. The RBCs are bags containing hemoglobin in solution. Each cell is surrounded by a highly elastic plasma membrane. The RPCs contain coloring pigment called hemoglobin. The lifespan of RPCs is about 100 to 120 days. The function of RPCs is to carry oxygen to tissue and called oxyhemoglobin and carry CO2 from tissue to the lungs and called reduced hemoglobin. How the structure of RPCs is adapted to their function? The biconcave disc appearance increases the surface area by about 25% that increases the respiratory efficiency. The flexible elastic semi-impermeable membrane allows the RPCs to pass in the narrower blood vessels. Also, the lipoproteins in the RPCs membrane ensure selectivity during gas exchange. This figure describes the process of erythro Pyosis or the synthesis of RPCs. The first stage is called pro erythroplast. Then the basophilic erythroplast is formed. Then polychromatophilic erythroplast. Then also chromatophilic erythroplast. Then nucleus is ejected and uh, pycnotic nuclei is uh, become apoptotic and reticulocyte is formed. Then the last stage is called erythrocyte. Leukocytes or white blood cells. The total leukocytic count normally varies from 4,000 to 11,000 per cubic millimeter. Types of leukocytes, they are classified into two major groups, granular and non-granular. The granular leukocytes, according to the classical classification, there are three types of granular leukocytes. Basophils, acidophils or eosinophils, and neutrophils. The non-granular leukocytes are the lymphocytes and monocytes. Granular leukocytes. Neutrophils. They constitute about 60 to 75 percent of the blood leukocytes. Their diameter is about 10 to 12 micrometers. The cytoplasm of these cells is faintly acidophilic and contain two types of granules. The first type is the specific or true neutrophilic granules, which are so fine they are difficult to be seen by light microscope. These granules contain a bactericidal substance and alkaline phosphatase. The second type is called azarophilic granules or nanospecific granules. They, these granules are ordinary lysosome. The nucleus is multi-looped. The number of loops is 2 to 5 or even more. This variability in nuclear form is the basis for the other name applied to this cell type, polymorphonuclear leukocyte. Function of neutrophils, they are phagocytic cells and called microphage. They 
secret they secrete a growth promoting factor which help in wound healing life span the life span of neutrophils is three to five days xenophil these cells constitute from one to four percent of the total leukocytic count the diameter varies from 10 to 15 micrometers, the cytoplasma contains large specific refractile acidophilic granules. These specific granules contain single or multiple central crystals of varying shapes. Xenophil granules contain several lysosomal hydrolases, including histaminase, which destroy histamine, and aryl sulfatase, which destroy heparin. The central crystal contains major basic protein, which is important in the defense against the parasite. The nucleus is generally pi-loop. Non-specific granules or azarophilic granules also are present. The functions of xenophils. Xenophils accumulate in the tissue, which are the sites of allergic reaction. Xenophils ingest antigen antibody complexes. They also play a role in the control of certain parasitic diseases. This figure is for neutrophil by electron microscope showing a specific granules with which are ovoid in shape and have a central crystal. The central crystal appears as a dark line in the granule. Basophils form half to one percent of the total leukocytic count. Their diameter is 9, uh, sorry, 8 to 10 micrometers. The nucleus is irregular and overshadowed by the large basophilic granules. These granules contain heparin and histamine. Basophils secrete histamine and heparin. This figure showing stages of granulobiosis or synthesis of granular leco. The first stage is called myeloplast, then bromyelocytes, followed by myelocytes and metamyelocytes. Non-granular leukocytes, lymphocytes. They are called lymphocytes because they are present in lymph as well as in blood. They are of two types, small and large. The large lymphocytes constitutes three to 8% of the total leukocytic count. The diameter is 12 to 15 micrometers. They have large indented nucleus and pale basophilic cytoplasm. The small lymphocytes constitute 20 to 30 of the total leukocytes. They are the commonest cells next to neutrophils. Their large nucleus nearly fills the whole cell and is deeply stained. The cytoplasm is pale blue and appears as a thin rim around the nucleus and contain few azarophilic granules. Classification of small lymphocytes. Small lymphocytes are classified according to their maturation site. Functions into T and B lymphocytes and null cells. They arise from the same the, they arise from the same stem cell in the bone marrow. They differ in maturation and differentiation sites. There are no histological or morphological difference between them, though they can be differentiated by light or electron microscope. They can only be differentiated by immunohistochemical staining as they differ only in their surface receptor or marker. T lymphocytes. They represent about 75% of circulating lymphocytes. Their life span is long, one to two years. The, mature, the immature cells that will be T lymphocytes migrate from the bone marrow to the thymus where they mature and become programmed to recognize a, a particular antigen. And this process called thymic education. By addition of certain, certain polypeptide molecules on their surfaces, 
and they are called receptors. The T lymphocytes then leave the thymus back to the circulation. The function of T lymphocytes, they provide cell-mediated immunity or cellular immunity. T lymphocytes have different subtypes. Subtypes of T lymphocytes include regulators and cytotoxin. The regulators T lymphocytes include T helper cells. They produce a growth factor which stimulates the proliferation of B cells. T memory cells, they provide a faster response on second exposure to the same antigen, and this is a process called secondary immune response. T suppressor cells, they switch off the, immu the immune response when there is no need for it, and they suppress the immune response to self antigen. They prevent autoimmune reactions. The cytotoxic T lymphocytes include T cytotoxic, they attack and kill any foreign particle. T killer cells, they react with antigenic cells in an indirect way by releasing hormone. Killer cells also contribute to graft rejection. B lymphocytes, they represent about 25% of circulating lymphocytes. They were named B lymphocytes as they were discovered to develop in a mass of lymphoid tissue called Persa of Fabricus present in birds. But in men, their maturation was found to occur in bone marrow. In the bone marrow, they acquire service receptor in the form of immunoglobulin M, which are programmed for a particular antigen. They settle in lymphoid tissue and recirculate between blood and lymphoid tissue. Functions of B lymphocytes Humoral immunity They are activated when exposed to their specific antigen. The activated B lymphocytes differentiate to plasma plus, then plasma cell, which secrete the specific antibody for the original antigen. And this is called the primary immune response. B memory cells Some activated B cells remain in lymphatic tissue to respond rapidly to the second exposure for the same antigen. <laughs> Monocytes, these are the largest leukocytes. Their diameter is 12 to 18 micrometers. They form 3 to 8% of total leukocytes. The nucleus is oval or kidney shaped and eccentric in position. The cytoplasm is pale blue-gray in color and contain fine azerophilic granules. Function of monocytes, they are vagocytic and can engulf coarse particles in the connective tissue they differentiate into macrophages and together with neutrophil they do their vagocytic activity. Lifespan of monocyte is about three days. Blood platelets or thrombocytes. Platelets are fragments of the cytoplasm of large cells called megakaryocytes. The diameter of a platelet varies from 2 to 5 micrometers. Their number is about 200,000 to 400,000 square cubic millimeter. They are, they are usually found in groups in blood film. With light microscope, each platelet is formed of a central granular part called granulomere, which gives uh, the false appearance of a nucleus and a, a briefler clear part called the halomere. With electron microscope, the cell membrane of platelet is irregular and covered by a cell coat. The halomere shows numerous microfilaments as actin and some myosin ones, as well as many tubular system. The granulomere shows few mitochondria, ribosomes, glycogen, granules, the lysosome, dense body, serotonin, ATP, ADB, calcium, and coagulation factors as fiprinogen. The lifespan of platelets varies from 3 to 7 days. They, the decreased number of platelets below 60,000 per cubic millimeter is called thrombocytopenia. Function of platelets they play an important role in the closure of wounds in the wall of blood vessels as they produce serotonin which constricts the blood vessels. Blood clotting, the blood platelets agglutinate causing the formation of fibrin threads. 
they active in clot retraction and removal. The bone marrow or the myeloid tissue. There are two types of bone marrow, include red and yellow bone marrow. Red bone marrow is called red because of the presence of large number of RPCs. The red bone marrow is present in all bones during the first year of life. Yellow bone marrow is inactive as a myeloid tissue, but at time of need, it changes into active red bone marrow. Red bone marrow is composed of stroma, hemobiotic cords of cells, and sinusoidal capillaries. The stroma is a meshwork of specialized fibroplastic cells called adventitial reticular cells. Sinusoids are formed by a thin layer of endothelial cells, differentiated blood cells which are formed from the hemopoietic cords enter the circulation by passing through opening in the endothelium. Free cells. The free cells are formed of mature or immature and immature cells. Fixed cells. They include fat cells, fibroplasts, reticular cells, littoral cells of blood sinusoids, osteoplasts, osteoclasts, and perivascular cells. This figure shows the passage of the four mid cells in the bone marrow through opening in the blood sinusoids or opening between endothelial cells of the blood sinusoids and their passage into the blood circulation. This diagram summarizes the components of bone marrow, which is formed of stroma, blood vessels, free cells, and fixed cells.